Hi everybody, uh, DK here with Mr. V Amps, and this has nothing to do with amplifiers. Um, but it does have to do with electronics, so if you're into that, you can hang out with me. I figured we'd film this because this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. This is a track, I think it was better without the light. Anyway, this is a track used for pine wood cars, you know, the wooden cars that... The reality is we all know it's an engineering contest for adult males, so it's sold off as a children's uh, fun event, but <clears throat> the timer, this is part of the timer, and where this black line is, you can see these dots that lay in the um, track here. Uh, those go to the timing mechanism to determine when the vehicle has crossed the finish line. Um, so this is the finish line the vehicles would be going uh, left to right on your on your camera or on the camera here and then they would stop at the end so um, apparently the red lane doesn't work um, the timer won't trip so uh, I've never seen one of these before I do have the pieces parts to put it together and hopefully make it work but I drew on my general um, knowledge I've seen this same track system work a few years ago um, so I know it did work and I never actually paid attention to how it worked but there's no visible beams or anything um, but it looks like to me in that track those are some kind of LED and if they're an invisible LED I would think it would be infrared and of course where am I gonna get an infrared LED in like no time at all and I thought about it I could probably steal one out of an old TV remote or something if I can find one of those but um, let's flip this thing over apple cart here and see what we got on the back I don't know if this is company manufactured or this is a kit or what this is I don't know its story but uh, anyway I think we can uh, hopefully figure it out so we've got the four LEDs here and they're going to this board here which apparently this little board supports up to eight cars I would think you can do like an ad track of eight um, and then it has an output that it goes to something else so I'm gonna just put my magic meter across each of these um, what I assume are LEDs and we're gonna test them as diodes and see what happens okay so as kind of expected these LEDs measure with a forward voltage of about 1.35 and this one um, doesn't appear to work at all let's try that let me just put the meter out here so y'all can see it so here's direction one one direction should have that you know just that one there saying infinity meaning that there is no current flow so that's direction one and then we reverse it and I should see approximately 1.35 like I do the other ones but I do not so that means this is effective there's your problem so just by again I've never seen one of these things before but just by mulling over the problem in my head uh, for quite a quite a spell I, I had a good gist of what the problem was before I even came to came to play ball so now we gotta try to find uh, an LED like this, an uh, infrared LED okay so I found an old DirecTV remote in the pile of crap and the LEDs on this are a little bigger so I don't know that they're gonna fit that little holder quite as well but I think somehow we can make this work we're gonna try anyway uh, the forward voltage on these is about 1.29, so it's close to the 1.3, whatever we had. Um, so it's worth a shot, right? Okay, so all we've done is we changed the infrared LED that sits here on this lane, and I think we've gotten it. Um, what we've got is we've got this little drop switch that this goes to the gate it's supposed to be normally closed so this would mean that the gate was like locked and loaded and the cars were ready to go and then we would hit reset and then when the gate drops 
that switch opens and now it's timing and then whatever car passes the finish line will um, trigger that and there we go so all four of them can trigger and uh, you know that was 4.59 seconds which is a terrible run if you you know race these cars but it doesn't really matter and I should be able to you know one yeah say my hand got in the way of the one so yeah I think I, I think we got it and all and this is apparently just infrared little LEDs not unlike what you have in your uh, TV remote so one two three and four. there we go so yeah problem solved it was a bad LED they can go bad I suppose and because we didn't have time to source parts directly from this vendor we stole a infrared LED out of a direct TV remote and fabric cobbled it a bit so it fit in the hole because the original ones were a little bit smaller diameter but uh, you know we wrapped this one with electrical tape slipped it up in there I mean it's not obviously clearing that it's a problem it's not sticking up the cars will run over it no problem um, I would call this a win so and knowing pretty much nothing out of this nothing about this uh, coming into it and just being asked because you know I'm some guy who knows something about electronics um, I would say this shook out pretty well um, when I saw the when I saw the LEDs on there I know when I've seen this in operation that I never saw any kind of beam or I never actually saw those light up so uh, you know I assumed they had to be some kind of uh, infrared that we couldn't see so cool thanks for watching have a great day